research on your own to figure out what shadows you want to order. They have a freedom system where you can order um, single eyeshadows and you can put them into individual into the palettes and the, each shadow is about six dollars six dollars and they're very very high quality um, definitely worth the price for the amount that you get um, you they in terms of comparison to MAC eyeshadows MAC eyeshadows in the pan co uh, cost twelve dollars nowadays and if you buy them in the pot it's about fifteen dollars um, these eyeshadows are usually six dollars now they did raise the price they used to be about five dollars and now they're six dollars but I think they're, they're so worth it they're very very high quality um, and you basically have to buy the eyeshadow pans um, or the palettes on their own so they come they are sold separately and I will link the website below um, where you can order these things. There aren't any many Inglot stores in the country in the US so that I don't have one where I live and I had to order mine online and I ordered mine the first order that I made was about a couple of years ago and then the last order that I did was at the end of this past year where they had a Christmas sale for 20% off. So I wanted to should make a video today on some of the eyeshadows that I do have because I know you have to do a lot of research for um, you know in order to order your shadows because some of those you know they do have like the swatches online they're not real life swatches so it's a little hard to know what kind of colors they are and there are no descriptions attached to them so I do have 310 eyeshadow palettes and one 5 eyeshadow palette and I'll show you here they you can order um, a palette like this this is a 10 eyeshadow palette and I do have a 5 which I made and you basically um, order the individual shadows like this so I'm going to show you also on how to remove these. I think a lot of people are having a hard time knowing how to remove these once you stick them in because they're pretty hard to remove. Um, you can't just press your finger to try to remove the the, the magnet. So the, this is magnetized as you can see. They are magnetized so they can stick to each other right on top. Pretty strong magnet actually. So if you look here and then I put my first one on top and they're pretty strong. So I'm going to show you how to remove these. So some people have sh uh, thought that you can use like the magnet at the end of these of the plate here to take them out. But that's pretty difficult. I tried that and you can really nick the shadow. So you have to have really be really careful with any way of removal. You have to be really careful not to nick the shadows. So I, what I use is um, actually a fridge magnet. Um, and this is a fridge mag magnet that I have. This is like a little measuring spoon but it's made for the fridge and I just put this at the end at the corner of the shadow and it comes right out so you could do this with any magnet you have at home and again you just have to be really careful um, and so each pan is about this size and I'll, I'll zoom in for the swatches but um, they do have the description on the number of the shadow on the back and the thing with these shadows is that they don't have the name but they do have a number um, and it's about four or five finishes, I can't remember. I'll note each one below as to what they are. So why don't we get get started because I have three 10 pan palettes to go through and a five shadow palette. So I'm going to start with my five, which is this one here. And basically I made Naked Basics palette. I didn't want to have to purchase it because I already had these shadows and I don't think I really need it. These are pretty good shadows. I have a lot of mattes actually. This is Pearl 395. This is Matte 353. This is DS 461. This is Matte 342. This is Matte 378. So the next palette that I'm going to swatch is this one right here. This is one of my favorite. This is AMC Shine 08. This is Map 357. This is Pearl 419. This is AMC Shine 31.
This is matte 360. This is 421. This is Pearl 393. This is 409. This is AMC Shine 37. This is Matte 329. This one is DS463. This one is DS460. This one is matte 390. This is pearl 402. This is matte 358. This is Matte 363. This is Matte 337. This one is DS 457. This one is Pearl 423. And this one is Pearl 422. And that is what that palette looks like. And this is my last palette that I have here, which I will swatch right now. This is matte. 330 Pearl 397 This is Matt 344 This is Matte 349. This is DS465. This is Pearl 454. This is Pearl 444. This is Pearl 434. And this is Matt 376. So that's all I have for my Inglot shadows. If you guys have any questions or if you want to request any looks, not that I'm a makeup artist, but sometimes I can do like a get ready with me video and put together a look or something um, for you. If you wanted to see that, let me know. 
Um, let me know if you have any questions about any of the particular shadows. I can put it on Instagram or tweet it to you. Please subscribe and rate this video. Talk to me. Comment down below. I'd like to hear from you guys if you have anything to say or if you have any questions. I will talk to you later. I do have a big birthday haul to film. So I will do that a little bit later today. Um, so that's why I'll be wearing the same outfit, same makeup and everything. So um, anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.